I mean, I've been considering going vegetarian at least for a while. Oh, right on. That's cool that you're already so conscientious about it. Uh, there's not a lot of people I talk to that are even, you know, considering it or really understand why it's important to do so. <laughs> Have you seen anything like this before, this kind of footage? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, right on. Are you opposed to animal abuse, you think? Um, well, I can't say that because I... <laughs> well, that's right, you know, you can... I think there are... Most people, I think, are good people. They're just doing something that this is kind of destructive, right? You know, it's kind of needlessly uh, violent. You know, every time we put down money, we pay for whether it's eggs, uh, milk, you know, any dairy product, milk and cheese, or meat, we're immediately paying to demand to have innocent individuals bred forcibly into existence so that we can cut their throats, you know, fatten them up and cut their throats real quick. I mean, they're just like kids when we, when we uh, kill them. So yeah, it's really sad. It's this whole like child murder industry that we fund every time. And of course, no one, nine out of 10 people, that you ask, unless you're, uh, you're lacking empathy and you're like legitimately sociopathic, everyone will tell you like, no, I don't want to see people get hurt or innocent animals. You know, if I had a dog or a pig even right here and I started stabbing it in the throat, you'd probably feel pretty uncomfortable and most of the people around would stop me. But because it's happening behind closed doors, we just keep funding it to happen over and over, even though we don't need it for our health. We don't need it because it's destroying the planet. There's nothing in our evolution that says we absolutely have to, you know, biologically that we depend on the consumption of these products. We can be perfectly healthy. Just eating a, a vegan whole food plant-based diet is optimal for human health. The science is in, the verdict is in. So now there's no, you know, there's no refuting the idea that this is totally needless. You know, it's totally unethical. Once I realized that, because I thought we were omnivores, I thought we were required to eat these things to stay healthy. Uh, and then I realized that since that's not the case and plant foods are actually cheaper I can get a big old bag of beans or rice or you know uh, lentils whatever it is and oats um, and I can get all those complex carbohydrates and complete proteins from almost any plant food rather than putting something like the dead flesh of an innocent individual into my body it's gross and it turns out all meat is carcinogenic no matter how you cut it fish you know chicken pig cows uh, it's all a carcinogen for the human body we're not really designed to be ingesting this stuff so once I knew that I was like oh my gosh I now have no excuse to keep subjecting these animals to this uh, it's too expensive for me it's gonna cost me in health bills later down the road um, and it, it's destroying the environment why not just stop paying for that it doesn't even require me to get super active or to do anything radical or extreme it just requires me to do non-action I just have to stop paying for a certain product at the store when I go to the grocery store instead of buying the cruelty milk you know the regular cow's milk I move my hand six inches this way and there's a plant-based option readily available at any grocery store so why not just make that boop, small little change you know it's not even being an activist being you know uh, crazy radical it's just taking non-action choosing not to pay for someone to be killed yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. What do you think would be your biggest obstacle in, in making a change like that? I guess it's just kind of like, you know, finding the starting place, you know? Sure. I, I, like a lot of people, maybe possibly, like, I kind of like to announce things and announce that I'm going to make a big change. No, <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. You know, when you say it, that just makes the temptation, like, approach you even more yeah you'll be faced with more, you know basically hard choices obstacles know? right right and i i guess the only way to do it is to just like you know be sly about it don't say anything just stop <laughs> yeah 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 it doesn't need to be a big you know um a, a big thing uh, but um and, and it, like I said, it's super easy to do, you know, when you're at the store, it's a simple matter of nowadays moving your arm a foot or six inches this way and bam, you're vegan. You know, obviously there's things like your hygiene products. You don't want to be buying shampoo and stuff that has the dead animal parts in it. There's, there's just no reason to fund that kind of industry. So um, yeah, I mean, getting cruelty free, free products across the board, is actually pretty simple, you know, it's, it's relatively straightforward. So what are you eating nowadays? What's like a normal uh, meal for you or one of your favorite foods that's kind of a go-to? food um well i make a lot of like asian foods oh right on a lot of those inherently yeah a lot of a lot of asian dishes inherently are a little less on the you know milk yeah. and and meat i and i cook a lot of vegetables in it stuff yeah. okay so cool i'll add meat to like i have um, right right totally so it's just last time i cooked stir fry i had meat and i just 
Uh huh. Yeah. I just did it out of habit. Mm hmm. Totally. Totally. So yeah, I mean, you can save yourself the money and the time it takes to cook uh, to prepare the food um, by just switching out the meat for beans. You know, some rice something like that, throw some avocado in there. I don't know if you like tofu, if you've tried tofu, but- I love tofu. Oh, you do, right on, excellent. I, I hated tofu before I went vegan. It kind of took me, uh, you know, some years of trying it in different ways. Um, I like cutting it into little strips and then like marinating it in barbecue sauce and making like little uh, really, really thin, dried out, tendery strips. Um, it's almost like jerky. Uh, that's my favorite, but there's so many ways you can prepare different types of food that, um, yeah, it's just a matter of cutting out, you know, I'm not going to buy this thing. I'm going to take what I'm already making. You know, you're probably already, like you said, cooking vegetables into there. Just throw some extras in there. You know, just make sure you're still eating the same amount of food. Don't just cut out a huge ch chunk of your meal, you know, because then you'll be a little bit hungry after it's hungry than you're, you know, used to being if you just eliminate something. Make sure you substitute it with something healthier and it's just as easy as that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, plus, I mean, if you eat a bunch of vegetables, you're not hungry for them. Well, yeah, Right, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, the energy and the nutrients going in your body are far more sustainable. You know, you're gonna, um, it's gonna be better for, for your health, for your exercise, for blood circulation, for brain health, uh, everything, for your, your energy levels, just sleep in general. Yeah, yeah, there's so many benefits. I mean, I've been considering going vegetarian at least for a while. Oh, right on. That's cool that you're already so conscientious about it. Uh, there's not a lot of people I talk to that are even, you know, considering it or really understand why it's important to do so. Yeah, I mean, there were, like, there were times in high school where, you know, all my friends would, you know, want to watch the, like, big shock documentaries about animals getting abused. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. Those opened my eyes, but, I mean, I was just a teenager and I'm like... Right, right. You know, this isn't affecting me individually. Yep. And that's the thing that we're realizing now is with climate change, the UN climate report says we have 10 years or less before we begin irreversible human extinction. And it's largely caused by the animal agriculture industry. Um, this talks about some of that uh, climate change stuff. But uh, in short, the animal agriculture is respons uh, industry is responsible for climate change, ocean dead zones, water waste, species extinction, deforestation, uh, desertification all major human health problems, world starvation. That's a lot of things for one industry to be the leading cause of. So we are now realizing we're seeing the effects with the paradise fires and stuff like that. We're seeing the catastrophic effects of climate change in our own backyards. And uh, now it is affecting our lives. Now it's, you know, this problem has come knocking on our front door and I think it's encouraging a lot of people to be more conscientious and go, okay, what can I do as an individual to make the kind of change we need to see? Because waiting around for a corrupt government isn't really working. It hasn't been working for decades. Uh, you know, we, it's good to fight and keep trying and push for for, you know, more progress in our government and people that are fighting for climate justice and just morality in our government across the board. But uh, until then, I mean, why not just take individual action, you know? Yeah, yeah I can't rely on the government to fight your battles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah, if most people in just first world countries alone, like America and the UK, if 80, 90% of the people in those countries went vegan, then uh, we would eliminate and start to reverse all those things I just listed. Deforestation, ocean dead zones, world starvation, species extinction, climate change. It would all slowly start to reverse itself. Like the earth would actually be able to start repairing. That's just how much meat, dairy, and eggs first world countries are consuming that are causing the problem. That's pretty insane. So it's this gluttony of just first world people, privileged first world people, that are destroying it for everyone else. You know, we go into these second and third world countries, we kick down their doors and we take their land to harvest livestock. So they don't get any of that. We just destroy their land and then we ship all that meat up to here so us Americans can just gobble it up three times a day. Uh, meanwhile, those people in those starving countries, they're eating plants because that's what just grows up naturally around them. Yeah. 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 That's ironic. Mm, it is. It is totally ironic. But yeah. Mm -hmm. This is giving me a lot to think about. Right on, man. That's super cool. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm going to hold on to this. Okay, cool. Did you get the climate change one? Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, right on. And if you'd like, this has just a quick list of resources you can look up. If you're more curious about the health benefits, these are documentaries and resources. You can just Google any of these. It'll give you all of the top peer-reviewed, non-industry funded science telling you that uh, whole food plant-based diet, vegan diet, is optimal for human health. Um, same thing with animals. This is going to show you all the reasons that 
there's, there's just no moral justification for subjecting animals to this, whether it's eggs, even free range, grass fed, cage free. That's all a really nice little label they put on the boxes for us. But when you actually look at how these animals are treated, that's what we're showing here is free range, grass fed. So if you see any of the chickens, they still get their throats slit. You know, they still get their beaks clipped, you know, without anesthesia. It's, it's pretty grotesque, pretty sadistic. Um, so yeah, that shows you the ethical, ethical stuff. And then here's some even more environmental uh, resources. So you can look up these documentaries. There's the UN Climate Report right there. Just Google any of this stuff and it should be available free online for you if you want that. Okay. Some great information there. And that's my YouTube channel in the back where you, you can find oh. me around Chico, like having conversations with people uh, about cool. this stuff. Yeah, sure. give, you, give you a little more perspective, kind of see some of the other questions people had and you know concerns about going vegan. Interesting. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've been making changes in my life recently, and I think I think this would be another positive. Yeah, totally. Um, and the biggest regret every vegan will tell you is that they didn't do it sooner. <laughs> I mean, it's just so easy. It, like I said, it seems so radical and extreme. Like, oh, I could never do that. I said that all my life. Uh, and then I started doing it. And I realized, like, again, I'm at the grocery store, I'm doing this, and I do this. And I'm like, okay, I'm vegan now, that's it? Yeah. It's all it took to, you know, reverse climate change and all my health problems and all this stuff. Uh, well, I should have been doing that longer. So that's really cool that you're even considering about it and that you're thinking about it. And... Well, yeah, thank you for talking to me. And... Of course. What's your name? Justin. Justin. Jackson. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> cool. And I like your coat. No, oh, hey, thanks. Yep. Uh, all uh, leather free, cruelty free, fake yeah. leather. See, I like to showcase. You can still look just as stylish as you were before, you know, without the, the weird dead flesh hanging off your body. Oh, boy. <laughs> thanks again. Yeah, of course. Of course. Have a good day.